Let's uh, stay on this story as well. Uh, gaming, casinos, bring in Contessa Brewer. She caught up with the CEOs of Sands, Wynn, and MGM. You hit a lot of the big ones, Contessa. Yeah, I sure did, uh, David. All three CEOs took the reins of these iconic global gaming companies during the pandemic. For Wynn and Sands, Macau used to make up the majority of the revenue and profits roughly a quarter of the bottom line for MGM. That's why you're seeing a difference in the uh, decline in the stock price today, too, by the way. But severe COVID restrictions have prevented any kind of rebound, similar to what we've seen in Las Vegas. In this exclusive first, all three sat down together with me to talk about what's at stake. It's a tough time. You got to basically hunker down and, and wait for it to turn. But the idea doesn't turn is kind of hard for me to imagine. It's going to turn probably you know, either this year or next. And when it does, Macau will go back to making, you know, we made the peak $3.5 billion EBITDA. I think we'll make a lot more than that in the future there. Uh, it's got a bright future. Just, just like a lot of things in life, you have to, you know, Churchill said, when you're going through hell, keep walking. Well, this is hell. Yeah. The, the only thing that keeps me up at night about Macau is the, the state of my team. I mean, they, you know, yeah, they've yeah. been yeah. essentially yeah. trapped there for years. Brutal. And it's very, very difficult, and I appreciate everything they do for us. Macau was seven, eight times Las Vegas in scale. Yeah. I mean, okay, so it comes back half to begin with, and then some, and then some. It's just, it's the largest gaming market in the world, bar none, and it will forever be. We'll bring you more of that candid conversation at the Evolve Global Summit. That's Wednesday, July 13th, just two days from now. You don't want to miss this. In the meantime, guys, Bernstein's gaming analyst writes that these casino closures in Macau may actually last longer than just this week. And July gaming revenues there are expected to be, listen to this, 97 percent lower than 2019's numbers. Really remarkable. Carl? Uh they're still committed to this this market, though, completely and totally, right? Every, every single one of them. They said that this is the place where the money gets made, that when the restrictions end, not if, but when they end, they expect a, a kind of pent-up demand, a kind of rebound that is unprecedented. And given what we've seen in Las Vegas, given the, re, the, the inflationary pressures um, at stake, and the packed crowds that are still making their treks to Las Vegas, they say Macau has got its best days coming. 